Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain SPS 930 Total Station Training. In this video, I've got our total station set up over here by my truck. We're going to show you the new version that came out, 1.70 on SiteWorks, that gives us the integrated survey. In this video, though, I'm going to show you how to use the internal GPS to be able to gain the correction of the total station when it's lost without having to joystick it. What I mean by that is I'm running the integrated option, but I only have the AT360 on. I don't have my GNSS receiver, the 986, or the R780. Uh, my other video that I did shows you what it looks like with that on there. So what I'm gonna do is you have to start with the GPS setup first, then you connect to the total station. So in your menu, go to project setup, go to connect device, and with that extra option there that came in with 1.70, hit integrated survey, and you can change this to internal GPS. You've either got your normal Bluetooth cable, but internal, not a lot of people use this because it's not very accurate for anything. It's a lot less on the sat satellite count, but I'm gonna turn on into, uh, internal GPS, and I'm gonna tell it that I am about 6.562 off the ground, so I still have a general rod eye. I'm gonna hit accept. Now it's gonna automatically take me to hook up to my total station. My total station is on channel 1010. It's out there just a couple hundred feet. I've got my antenna on. No big deal, it'll take it just a second. We're pretty good on the level. We're off about nine on the trunnion. So 10 to 11, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna hit accept and finish out the setup of the total station. It's already been set up. I'm using the wrong word. It's already been set up. I'm reconnecting to one. So when we get to the next screen here, I'm not going to set it up as arbitrary or use last setup. I'm going to read the station setup because it already knows its position on the job site. So station has been received successfully. We can come out to the main screen. And what you'll notice on the top of the screen here is it shows a horizontal, or excuse me, GPS eight satellites. So I'm tracking eight satellites, but I'm not going to have a horizontal and vertical because it's not tracking a GPS receiver on the top of my pole like tradition. It's just satellites to the general position where I'm at. The tolerance is going to be off a little ways. But I have this new integrated toggle to the right right here where I can switch to total station or I can switch to GPS. So you can see with the GPS, I've got to fill a nine feet out here, nine and a half. That is not correct. I'll show you because when I go to the total station, which is accurate, it's a fill of about two feet. I'm not using the GPS for anything other than what I think is the coolest feature that has come out that is, would have really helped me out on paving jobs or anytime using a total station where you lose track of the total station. Someone will drive in front of you, you'll walk around a pile, your total station will see something shiny and be like, woo, and go and watch that. And you spend this game a lot of the day using a total station doing the find me again. You're either joysticking it or you're walking until you see the lights flashing or you're doing what's called a turn two. And that's what I wanted to show you in this feature is the ability to do the turn two. So if I hit my F3 key right now, which is my shortcut to joystick, I'm going to physically joystick the total station away from me. It might be hard for you to see in the distance there, but I've turned it away from me. And I'm also going to walk away from exactly where I was standing. Now, I have a control point over there. It's hard to see. It's a feather. And I have a control point over here by this backside. I don't have anything right where I'm at. And the reason I'm telling you that is because now what I can do is I don't have the total station tracking me. I can go into the icon at the top, which is the GPS or excuse me, the total station, and you can go to the turn to option right here. And at the very bottom, you have this turn to GNSS location. If you hit that and hit accept, the total station in the distance is going to turn right to the general area where you're at. Now, bear with me. When you use the integrated where you've got your R780 or 986, it comes in and it's like almost dead on and it automatically starts flashing on you. That's pretty cool, but it's really top heavy to have up top there. This is an option to get it back to me. So even though it's not flashing on me yet, it's not perfectly tracking, I can now hit my joystick because at least now I have lights in the distance, which I personally like. I like the green and red split image there because then I know, okay, I'm gonna go till I see green or red 
And if it's not flashing, I'm going to go up or down, just like that. So I went up a little bit. My lights are flashing. It's on me. It's tracking me. I've got stuff on the left side right here. I'm 150 feet away from it. I love this. Then it's not going to drain your battery as much as if you had a full R7580 or 986 on the top. So let me walk up onto a hillside uh, real quick, and I'll show you a really far shot to do that turn to using internal GPS. Okay, now what I've done, you can see way out in the distance there is my truck. The total station is under that blue cover. I turned my target off right here when we left the last spot so it didn't track me. So it's still looking in the general area way down there to the right where I was at. So internal GPS is on. I've got six to eight satellites. It's flashing back and forth. I want it to find me. From here, I could joystick it or do the search, but it's going to take a while. So if you go back into that icon at the top for the total station and hit the same icon again, which is in the turn to box, you go to turn to GPS location, hit accept, it's going to get close. Now it instantly turned to where I can see the flashing light. Now it's not still on me perfectly, so I go ahead and hit joystick. In the distance there, I've got the red, so I know if I turn to the left, I got green. So there's green, there's red, still not flashing, but knowing I walked up on a hill, I'm going to just angle it up a little bit manually. And boom, right there. Now it's flashing on me. It found me. I would have loved this when I was doing survey um, actually out on the job site. It would have made my life so much quicker. Well, one is the F3 key, by the way, boys and girls, your uh, quick joystick button is F3. Into joystick, that was my friend finally finding my total station all the time, but now you can use the internal GPS. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully you guys at least can download 1.7 and uh, actually try this out. It's very, very handy, very helpful, pretty neat. Thank you for watching this video from SciTech Intermountain on SPS 930 Total Station Training.